So how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Ex excited to do this and thank you for, for sparing some time. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, so do I need to do anything like lay down or anything like that? Um, no, so uh, no, you can, you can just sit and uh, however you're, you're comfortable. Okay. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll just take you through, uh, were you at the group session I did with, with Jenny's group? I think so. Cool. Um, so yeah, it'll be similar to that, except because it's with you, it'll be very much, uh, just we'll, we'll go with what, uh, what we're guided to, what your, your guides take us through. Okay. Um, and yeah, just to, just to kind of set out a few things. Um, sometimes I get, uh, bless you, sometimes I get uh, power cuts in my house. So okay. don't be alarmed if my power goes off. Uh, my, I'm running on my phone, so it should be fine. Okay. Um, and I'll admit the second you. Um, and yeah, during the session, uh, um, Sorry about that. Hello. <laughs> um, excellent. So yeah, during during the session, we we may end up visiting, you know, past lives or or um, dimensions that are um, that are quite uh, that are quite challenging for us to to work with. And so during that time, um, you know, feel free to say if you're. Uh, if you're not comfortable about something, um, but otherwise, I'll, I'll take this as your permission that we'll we'll go together wherever it takes to help uh, to help uh, heal and and clear darkness. So, <clears throat> I'll um I'll share with you some of the challenges that I've been experiencing um, just in general mm -hmm. for ever. Um, like I don't visualize and I think you've probably heard me say that like when mm. when we do the journeys and stuff like that like ask, like when when Jenny does the astral travel stuff like I don't I don't ever go anywhere like yeah like I may go somewhere but I'm not consciously aware of it and mm. um like and I don't visualize things and so like while you're working on me like it the experience is probably going to be 100 percent yours and I probably won't feel or notice anything just I'm just letting you know that just because that's typical. Yeah. Um, so um, I, I likely will not be giving you a lot of feedback as far as like visuals or sens sensations I and mean, maybe some, some sensations, but definitely not any visuals just because it's just not, I just don't think it's in my, um, my makeup, you know, it's just not part of who I am. Yeah. Yeah, we all experience things very differently, and um, a bit. Yeah, it's a bit like I did uh, Jenny's. Um, what was it called? Like the higher self or higher timeline session? Oh, I can't remember his name, but I, I I did that as I fell asleep, and I listened to it twice, and I just have very brief recollections of waking up slightly and thinking, "There's something going on here," and then fell asleep because I could hear her voice, but I couldn't. It was almost like nothing was happening in this reality like okay. there was maybe there was maybe something going on elsewhere i i couldn't say and 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 also i think um you know to explain a bit about my background i uh i started meditating 4 years ago after waking up in a after my awakening in like a kundalini yoga yoga session my first and last mm -hmm. and um it it was a really, for that experience for me was a very strange meditation because I saw so many things that kind of, kind of like galactic kind of visuals and that really blew my mind. Yeah. And then almost, almost after that, I went for what felt like a couple of years of like very little um, visualization or none. Um, but I started getting into da just daily meditation and just going through um, uh, just kind of letting song lyrics come through each day. And mm -hmm. it's, that's very me. I'm a very slow burner. I'm like a creature habit, but it takes me a long time um, to, to kind of pick things up. And now that I can do it more freely for my experience of, um, and as we go through this session, it is so subtle. Like, mm -hmm. and, I, and I always have this, my ego after each session has been, you must have made that all up, John. Right, that, did that, <laughs> that kind of happen. 
you, you're probably right. crazy. Like you just, I go through all these things. Um, so yeah, well, it'll be it'll be exciting to to, to go through this with you. I feel like every session is different, and yeah. Um, and yeah, it's very much uh, guided from from my side, and um, yeah, please please just sit back and relax, and we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, and in terms of the the video, so we're recording the session. At the end of it, you can decide uh, if you're um, happy for it to be shared or you just want to keep it private. Okay. Um, and towards the end of the session, I will um, uh, record your song. So uh, we'll do that and, um, and and see what comes through. So uh, okay. at least it would be great to be able to share the song, uh, even if you don't want your, yourself in the video. It's, it's sure. up to you. Um... I know how it is. And so I will likely allow you to share it just because I, <clears throat> I've been doing past life regressions and, um, it's always helpful when my clients allow me to share their videos, um, mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel because it shows my work. So yeah, I hear you. Um, I have a, a hair appointment in about an hour and 20 minutes. So just okay. wanted to let you know that. So I'll have to leave yeah. in like in about an hour. Okay, cool. So I, don't yeah, know, I wasn't sure how long it would take. So that's cool. Yeah, we'll we'll stick to the to the hour. That's cool. So we'll stop about uh, ten past at the latest. Okay, very good. Um, I'm gonna um pull my little table around and turn. Well, um, I turn these lights off, but it might hinder the video. Hold on, lamp. I have my little table. I can put my laptop on so it's not low. Cool. So hopefully that'll great. Is that good? Okay, let's begin. Um, so we're gonna start by taking three deep breaths. So start by breathing into the nose and into our into our stomachs. And hold and exhale nice and loud. Again, breathe into the nose. Hold and this time when we breathe out, breathe out any negativity. Again, breathe into the nose. Hold and breathe out any stress of the day. Good. And now we will imagine a beautiful golden light surrounding our hearts. And we will take this light and we'll allow it to grow. To grow to a ball. And we'll now raise up, connected to our heart. We will raise this ball of golden light up through our chest, up through our throat chakra, up through our crown chakra, sacral chakra, all the way up, up into the clouds, up into the stars, up, up above planet Earth into space. And now we will keep raising this golden light higher and higher through the dimensions up through fifth, sixth, seventh dimension, shooting up all the way up to 21st, as high as we can imagine, all the way up to the top as we reach into source. And as we enter the source of love of this universe, we connect this golden light like a web spreading out across source and connecting, feeling that beautiful golden light fill us with love, feel like we're home, like we are one again.
And now we will remain connected to source and bring our golden light back down all the way through the stars, back down to the dimensions, down to planet Earth, down through our homes into our human forms again, and through our crowns into our bodies, our human forms. And here we fill our bodies with golden lights. And feel your body relaxing, tension relieving. And now we will take the golden light from around our heart again. And this time we will go down into center of Gaia. So we will start by sending it down through our human forms down through our root chakra, down all the way through the crust of the planet, heading towards the crystalline core of planet Earth, all the way down into Gaia's soul, into our hearts. And as we connect in with Gaia, we feel such love as we spread this golden light out it's like a web across the center, across the core of planet Earth. Thank you, Gaia, for all you do for us, for your tolerance and for all your love. And now we bring that golden light back up, still connected to Gaia. We bring the light back up to ourselves, back up to our human forms, all the way up to our roots back up into our hearts. We are now connected above into source and below into Gaia. And now we will take a golden light again, and this time we will send it out from our crowns, out through to the sun, where it is located in the solar system at this time. Imagine that the sun is a portal and we're sending this golden light through the portal. And as we go through the portal, we connect into the tree of life, which is our tree, it is our soul. It is a tree of your souls, a soul that you lived many lifetimes of and you have been through this cycle many times with the same soul. Connect around your light around the, the trunk of the tree of life. Wrap it around twice. And then bring your light back through the sun as a portal back through into your crown and back into your human form. And now we imagine this light in this never-ending loop traveling from our hearts up to source, back down through the sun, through the tree of life, back from the tree of life through the sun and back down into the core of the planet and back up to source. Good. And now, I'd like to invite in to this safe space to bring in this golden light and invite source to create a protective bubble around us for this session, around myself and Lynette. And we create this bubble in this present moment, in this space and time. And we fill it with golden light with all our love. And now I invite in Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, and to help us set the safe space 
We set the intention that this space is for Lynette, for her heal healing, for her clearing of darkness and rebalancing our light and our darkness. And in this session, we will travel to wherever Lynette needs healed the most in this session. And now invite in Lynette's guides. I invite in her ancestors, her higher self. Thank you. I invite in my guides, my higher self, my ancestors at this time. And I would like one of Lynette's guides to step forwards to communicate in the session at this time to be our primary communication. And we stand now together in a circle. Each of our light bodies, hand in hand, our guides, our higher selves. And Lynette's guide that is stepping forward says, does not form I have seen before. It is an energy. An energy from an elemental being. An elemental being that has been through this universe for many eons. <sighs> Thank you for coming forward at this time. I see you. The, the elemental guide is offering to present themselves in a humanoid form for, uh, I'm finding it hard to communicate with them. It's so beautiful. And I see her humanoid form step forwards. She is green in skin tone, quite small. This is not an incarnation we would recognize or a form we would recognize, but could you tell me your name, please? What is your name? What may we call you for this session? Ellie, 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 Ellie. Thank you. Okay. Please take us now to this healing that Lynette requires. So first I am guided to Lynette's light body who sits in front of us at this time, still and calm and safe and loved. Yes, I see there is work that Raphael would like to, Archangel Raphael would like to assist with. So he's now placing his hands over your head. And connecting into your crown chakra, your connection into source. Your guides assist at this time 
as I assist at this time, I will make the Aum sounds to send my energy at this time. Um. see Lynette's light body now connecting up to source. It is an activation. It will take time, it'll take time to fully realize, but this is where the journey starts. And now we would like to perform an energy scan through Lynette's light body and human form to see where healing is required. And with Archangel Raphael, I now send love down, scanning through Lynette's head down through her shoulders to her body, torso down, way down through her legs, down to her feet. I see. There is much, there is much already cleared within my net. We would like to help connect in to root chakra down into Gaia. I'd like to ask Gaia to step forward at this time to assist us with this reconnection. Archangel Raphael. We send love at this time. Healing. Grounding. Gaia welcomes your reconnection and thanks you for this time. I recognize you, she says. I remember you. Thank you, Gaia. Okay. And your guide, Ellie, has stepped forward again. This time, we are being guided to travel to, together, the three of us, we will travel to the room of where your soul is sitting and waiting on other aspects of your soul. Do not fear. Your love, that you are protected. Before we enter this phase, I am guided to bring in God's armor. I call in God's armor for myself at this time to bring in white crystalline, white armor around my light body and human form. (sighs) 
to connect with me at this time on this journey. And Ellie's assisting me and invites in God's armor into and onto Lynette's light body and their human form, connecting and protecting. Yes, I see you. <sighs> Ellie is laughing. She's saying, I do not need it. <laughs> I understand, I understand. So now we hold hands together, the three of us, and we are traveling now through space and time, still protected, still loved in this protected bubble into a room where Lynette's soul is sitting. <sighs> I see you. There is four of us and I would like to reconnect Lynette with her soul here in this waiting room to be one consciousness for this session. Thank you. And she says, there is nothing to see here. <laughs> there is no work required here. Okay, I hear you. But we are here for a reason for you brought us here together at this time. And I want you, know, you to know that you're safe. You're protected and you're loved. And nothing will happen without your consent. I now ask Archangel Michael to help me with the Four doors that sit out in front of us in this waiting room. And on the left side, I see the highest dimension, the highest timeline for Lynette. There is such beauty behind this door. It is resonating and beaming out around the cracks of the door. Laughter. Connection, community, such warm-hearted love. It exists, it is real, it is happening now in a timeline, in a present moment. And as I turn to the next door, a second from the left, I see two paths of where Lynette is now. This is Unusual in that there are two doors for Lynette's current timeline. The left door is, is a path where she connects with all of her gifts. It is full of love and happiness and growth. And the door to the right is the same, but it is where Lynette does not connect with all of her gifts, yet still lives out a beautiful lifetime of growth, love. Both are equal. And then the door to the right, see the door to the right is closed. In fact, it is sealed. This is why there are four doors because the third door, the fourth door to the right of the lowest frequency has been sealed shut.
Ali, please show us why this was closed. Why was this door closed? To protect, she says. Archangel Michael, please assist me at this time. I would like you to assist me. I'd like my guide, Emin Shell, to step forwards as well. And together we turn to face this door with Lynette. And at first, with the first stage, I would like to release the seal on this door, but remain closed initially. Please help us remove the seal. We send in such love. Now, with Lynette's permission of the session, we step to the door and together with Ellie and Archangel Michael, assist us in opening this door. And as we step into this door, I see lights, so much lights. This light is false light, which I find it difficult to describe, only that it is light in darkness. And we now step into the elevator. And in this elevator, I ask numbers on the right hand side to show me where Lynette's name is, show me the button to press to travel to Lynette's aspect of herself that is here in this place. Press the button. And now we free fall together, hand in hand, in this elevator, safe and love. We travel down, down, down. We are entering the depths of darkness. Passing through. Passing through the tormented layers of hell. Deeper we go down down into level 70. We have arrived here now. And as the door opens, I see space. I see an ancient time. It is not a past, but a present moment. In this time, in this space, please take us to the fragment of Lynette's soul. And I'm taken to I see energy, it is formless energy, but consciousness, blue lights, like an energy cloud or small nebula in space. (sighs) 
It is the child aspect of Annette's soul origins. <sighs> the child of you, the inner child of you. That fragmented a long time ago, eons ago. It is from Lynette's soul origins as a, an elemental soul traveled to the universe for eons as a creator, as ancient wisdom and love. She encountered times when she did not agree with the laws of this universe. And that with all creation, there are also the cycles of death. Why create when they die? Why create when I die? <sighs> it is okay. We see you, you're loved. And the house around, a bubble of love around <sighs> this aspect of Lynette and only the aspects of Lynette's soul. Delhi now beckons us to return up, to bring, to retrieve your elemental inner child back. It is safe. We see your love. We see your ability of creation and destruction. I want you to know that you are loved and you are trusted. For in your wholeness as a soul, you will heal again. Take my hand. And now with your elemental fragments, and Ellie, we begin to climb up through the sides of this prison. Climb up through the shards of these walls that cut through most, but not us. We are protected as we climb. We climb together, we climb together. You are protected, you are loved. Come with us now to the surface. So we climb together up, up through six tiers, fifth tier, four tier. 30th, 20th, 10th, and finally close to where we enter the space. Come down, and I see a beautiful angel now standing in front of us. It is one of my guides with us for this session who will assist in the transformation to allow your elemental fragments to enter safely. The highest good, love and compassion to guide us now back into this waiting room where we stand together. Ah, thank you. 
such energy and electricity on my hands. We stand together in this room, protected and loved and ready to bring these soul fragments together. I ask Archangel Raphael to step forwards with healing and to allow Lynette's arms of our light body to open and the arms of our soul fragment to open, to face each other now and to embrace each other. Embrace each other as one. Embrace yourself as one soul, for you started as one soul. And now you return together as one soul united. Feel the energy, all aspects of you. Merge together now. Ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Delhi to come around us at this time and complete this healing as we rejoin. Rejoin the and the soul fragments together. Thank you. This was a clear integration. Clean and clear. Thank you. And now, hand in hand, we return to this present moment, back into the safe space from which the session started, still surrounded in love. Surrounded in protection. We're standing in a circle now with our guides, our higher selves, our ancestors. And Ellie is guiding me to assist, or assist Lynette with clearing in the room around her and her home. This time, I'd like you to imagine golden light now expanding out from your human form out to the room that you're in, like a giant bubble squeezing into every corner of this room. And we fill it first with love, high vibration, source of love. And we instruct any darkness, any entities to not, not that do not serve the highest good or net to leave immediately. Expand this bubble out to every room in Monette's home. And we instruct any darkness, any entity to leave immediately.
And now the land and space, surrounding streets, roads around Lynette's home. To be cleared, all darkness leave immediately. Good. Feel that love now. Feel the source of love in your heart. Feel it growing. Feel golden lights in you cry. Delhi is showing me that you were blocked from aspects of yourself by yourself for the creative aspects of you are so powerful to create with such love. You can create realities around you and in your lifetime and for others. Like when you were an elemental soul, these elemental gifts come into this lifetime with you. They allow you to manipulate the energetic fields around you. And you can create. To me, they look like timelines, but they are more than this. They are like experiences, like bubbles of present moments. And that as you create these, you can use them for healing and to help people around you as you work with people in this lifetime, you can bring them into these bubbles so that they can experience what it would be like for them if they made certain choices in their lives. Ah, so beautiful. And this gift will grow. This gift will grow. And so with Ellie now, I join hands with Lynette's light body and we invite in all of her gifts from her past lives, from the higher aspects of ourselves, for all the gifts that she has blocked or held from herself to now return into this space, into this present moment as a whole soul to fill this human form, this light body, the soul to become one again. Thank you. And I'm guided at this time to to write, to record a song for Lynette. And first, I'd like to set the intention for this song for the vibrations and the frequencies, the words and the resonance captured in the song to capture this moment where Lynette starts this journey 
of our healing process to recall in our gifts. And that she may return to this vibration, to this frequency, to this safe space at any time. And to help continue to reconnect.
set this love free So, breathe back into this moment. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you for helping me see and experience Lynette's journey in this form of song so that I could understand and that Lynette can go to this song at any time and reconnect with this journey when she wishes. Lynette is now at the start of this journey, at the restart of this journey. Ellie would like to know if you have any questions for her at this time, Lynette. Do you have any questions? What do I need to fully into my uh, into my gifts to take that timeline? So, Lynette is showing me in meditation each day. You can visualize these doors in front of you the doors that we visited. And sit with the four doors in front of you. It doesn't matter if it's three or four doors, but the left-hand side is your highest timeline. The middle is your current timeline and the right is your lowest. And as you observe the door to the left with the highest timeline, listen to what it sounds like. Listen to any voices or words that you hear, and it can be as light or as quiet as your imagination. There is no real difference. And most importantly, as you connect with that door, imagine what lies behind it. Imagine your dreams, the goals, the vision you have for this lifetime. Imagine them there and imagine yourself at both sides of the door for there is an aspect of you already there 
And it has such love and such high vibration in its heart. Imagine what that feels like. Imagine what that version of you feels like at this time. In your meditation, sit with that vibration. Just imagine it. How does your heart feel? How does your body feel? How do you see yourself in that version of yourself, in that highest timeline? What are you doing? Who are you with? What gifts do you imagine that you have? And then imagine standing up and stepping close to the door and reaching through the door with your with your hand. And do this as you sit in your meditation. Reach out with your hand and and bring the heart, the frequency, the vibration of your highest timeline into your own heart. And imagine the same happening on the other side of the door where the highest version of you is reaching through to you right now and inviting you in, bringing your vibrations together to match, lifting you up energizing your form, your body, filling you with such love. This is a practice you can repeat each day. (laughs) Ellie says it does not need to take as long as John just described it. (laughs) She says I took a long time to describe it. And thank you for showing us this practice. And as you repeat this each day, she would like you to imagine that you are no longer holding yourself back, that it is safe, that you trust yourself, you trust every aspect of yourself. And in particular, your inner child. This is an inner child of your soul that goes back to when you were in your first existence. And it is a huge part of your gifts that you bring back into this lifetime. You can also ask Ellie, your guide, and ask Archangel Raphael to help with the healing each day. So practice this standing with the door, reaching from both sides to bring yourself together in these timelines, this highest aspect of yourself. And with it, bring every aspect of you. There's no need to hold back. There's no need to separate any of you. This goes right back to your soul origins from when your soul first existed, back at the dawn of this universe. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you for this. Do you have any other questions, Lynette? Anything else that you would like to share with me that I haven't asked? Anything you'd like to share about your past? Yeah, is there anything Ellie would like to share with me that I haven't asked about? She, she says that you will experience through this reconnection journey, you will experience more detail and clarity on So as you repeat this exercise each day, just for a few minutes each day, you will connect more and more with your 
elemental self. I, I, I struggle with human words, but it is like the soul origin. It is like the galactic origin of you. And she will, Ellie will help you see the, they are not, <laughs> they span millennia. They are in cycles, but not in cycles of incarnations. What she's trying to explain to me is that it is like almost an eternity of an existence. And you can ask to reconnect with when you were a creator. And in those, your work was to bring together matter. Your gift was to create matter through the gathering of love energy. You could both channel source energy and create like an amplification and start the swirling process of the embryonic dust clouds and nebula forming of planets, stars, and so much more. Your work involved both the creation and the life cycles of planets, stars. You're there to assist in the creation and rebirth process and to help souls that are born into these, uh, I guess we describe a planet as an entity or a sun, a star as an entity that you would assist in this process. When you ask Ellie, she will take you on these journeys, either through your meditation, just ask her out loud, just say, show me, show me these incarnations or these activities that I performed and show me how I can bring them into this lifetime, bring the same gift of creation and rebirth. That's right. And she's saying you, you can develop this gift to allow people to unlock. This is part of your journey. This is, okay. She's saying this is... <laughs> She's kind of laughing at me because I'm not that quick. So she's saying to me, this is all part of this human journey where you have closed gifts down and you are now beginning your activation journey. And your activation journey is how you will show others. You will show others that have, that are going now through their start they are being awakened they're being activated and you can help them with this process you can help them start on this journey and that this work you can take them through their past lives and help with activation show them their gifts and show them how to bring them into the lifetime just as you're doing this now in yours And Ellie says that she's so proud of you because you are so patient. She sees that you continue to seek what is seemingly impossible for you. But she says that it is here now with you and that only your belief has ever held you back. You are such a beautiful soul, such strong gifts. And she's so proud that you chose this lifetime where for so long you have sought the answers and all along the answers are lying within you. Your patience is now rewarded with your activation. Patience to reward it. (sighs) 
and she's showing me that you, what you seek in your highest aspect of yourself with your gifts and the highest time of yourself, that it is so, so close. This is why she showed in your practice to reach from both sides of the door, from your highest version of yourself to now and from now to your highest version because you are so close. And before you know it, you will both simply merge through this door to be patient as you have been patient and continue your practice. This is such a beautiful journey and such a gift. Your guides are all with you. If you need them, if you need their assistance, if you feel frustrated, just put your hands on your heart and ask for them. They're always here. You're so loved. Believe this, feel this. Thank you, Ellie. Now it is time. I'd like to thank Ellie for guiding us through this session and to acknowledge the elemental origins of Ellie also and to thank Lynette's spirit guides, her higher self, archangels, my higher self, my guides, my ancestors. Source, the Archangels. Please retain the space for whenever Lynette needs to reconnect. Know that she is safe and loved. And with this, we close the session. We now return into our human forms. We gather back all aspects of ourselves that have been out and about in different dimensions. We bring them back. Only ourselves and only in love. Back into this present moment. Wow. <laughs> that was that incredible. That was incredible. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. I, and you have my full permission to share this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was, yeah, that was phenomenal. I, uh, I found it very hard to like come up with so many words, like just being shown, you know, yeah, energies and galaxies. And I'm like, I don't know, is like a word for this? Is but yeah, I found, I'm, I'm sure I'll listen back and uh, reflect on it also, but uh, it, was, it was fantastic. And um, yeah, it just, it feels like you, you're, like you're absolutely on the right path. You're on the right journey and you're, and, and I, my little human brain also kind of gets like why it's been difficult for you to kind of reactivate, but that activation is such an important part of your journey because you you can take this experience to other people. You can say, you know, I've been seeking and this is how I went through it. And you've learned so much about how other people are doing it. Um, you know, like in our group and Jenny and myself, like everyone, everyone does things differently and there's no right way. And yeah. you being able you being able to observe that without um, experiencing it fully has will help you see through the eyes of others as you help them on on their their healing and activation journey so that's that's so beautiful wow you know the question i had that um was and and maybe you you may or may not know the answer to this is how long have i been disconnected from that piece uh it 
it's like eons. It, the, the, fra the, the fragmentation um, started before any kind of, I guess, like humanoid-like um, wow. incarnations. That's uh, crazy. And, and that it was, and it was because you, I think it was, you were so tired of like the kind of birth, the death and rebirth, death and rebirth. And you saw the creation and destruction of so many, you know, planets and souls. And it's like, I, I think, and I think what, you know, one thing you can ask about is there's, there was an inner child part of you that found it really exciting and found it like really enjoyed doing it. But mm -hmm. sometimes the emotion that you had, whether it was love or anger for like the creation or the destruction that you would, um, that you'd have like feelings about it, like you feel guilty about it. And, and, and um, I think what, uh, what your guide was trying to explain is like, there's, you did such an important job for so long for like literally eons and um and that there's just no judgment it's just it was a it was a role that you you took on mm -hmm. um it i don't i don't really sense any negativity around it but i i sense there was like a sense of fatigue it was like here we go again you know why why create yet another planet and then another few eons it's like gonna go i don't know if the the souls that are there will reincarnate into something else or the, the race will go on and survive to other planets, whatever, like you, mm -hmm. you didn't really, you didn't enjoy that over what I'm guessing is like thousands and millions of times. So um, yeah, you could ask more about it, but I don't think there's not one that I think there was like, there was always obviously like a last time that happened or when right. you split, when you fragmented your soul, you said, I'm leaving that part there because that's like it was it was the it was the creative gift that allowed you to to do this mm -hmm. uh, creation of planets and 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 and, and rebirth and uh, and then that's when you started your incarnations into like kind of humanoid lifetimes like well I, not necessarily humanoid but you know what I mean uh, more more living things like you and I wow um that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's quite incredible <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of incredible wow i've been told uh by somebody else who had tapped into my energy that i was a star yeah like, but, Matt, you're a star and i'm like i'm a star <laughs> yeah okay it's, uh, <laughs> yeah it it's definitely a th it's definitely a thing um I like I feel like my soul origins are from being like I almost well I do remember like traveling through the universe as like an elemental um and looking for almost like looking for matter to manifest in and uh just like the earth has a soul stars have souls and um uh in fact I had a, 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 a beyond, beyond quantum healing session where I was the sun <laughs> in and I was like is really what I, what I was the son <laughs> or if I was the son or am the son like that I found and I didn't know if I was just like in there to to witness the experience of you know of what could have been another soul's journey but yeah it's I certainly feel like it's it's a thing and it makes a lot of sense for for being a thing for you like you um your guide was showing me that you you assisted in the placement of the soul. So, so when, a, when a soul is born uh, and enters into um, a star, enters into something that already exists, like the soul doesn't just float around in space and then you have like matter form around it. That was your job was to like cr bring the matter together enough so that it could house the energy of a soul and then, it, and then you bring the soul in. Um, wow. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I would love to um, talk to you more about this. And I actually want to schedule another session with you. Um, well, um, let me rephrase that. <clears throat> I have, you know, I got my singing bowls. I'm a tuning forks and everything. And I'm, I'm, I need assistance with um, figuring out like the best, like microphone and stuff like that to record the very subtle frequencies of the tuning forks. 
And yeah. I was hoping to get information, like if you have knowledge around some advice, <laughs> you know, to yeah. help me with that equipment, that'd be awesome. And then the other thing I want to do is um, I've been like interviewing um, like people in like a podcast format, you know, just to try and like get people like your, yourself, you know, out to my network, you know? <laughs> and so I would like to set up time for you and I just have a chat about what you do. And then I can append this healing onto that video and, um, you know, and, and get the word out about your, your skill set because I think you're freaking amazing. And well, thank you. Uh, I would love to share you with the world <laughs> as much as I can share you anyway. <laughs> That's you know so I mean? kind. Yeah, <laughs> so. I'd, I'd, I'd love to, yeah. I'd love to. Right, yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll send you details of microphones and yeah, let's, let's keep chatting. I'll send you the, the video as well when it's, when it's ready. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, John. Great. Thank you. Take care. Right. Thanks. Bye. Send the love. See you. Bye. Yeah. Bye.